today. <laughs> I want to take a look at this latest art supply I bought from Amazon. And this is really cool. I'll get this open. It came in a giant package, but it is really just this small little thing. What this is, is black watercolor paper. Now I hear a number of you who do watercolor saying, what in the world? The entire purpose of watercolor paper is to have white. And when you paint over it with yellow or you know, pink or whatever else you're painting, the white shines through it. And that's what gives watercolors their lum luminescent, <laughs> glowy quality like stained glass, which is what I love. So why in the world would you have black watercolor paper? All right, so first off, this is a nice pack. The paper is fairly stiff, almost cardboardy. It is uh, connected at the top by glue, and this is by Stonehenge, and they call it aqua cold press. All right, so let's take off a piece of this aqua cold press and put it up here. So clearly, this is meant for a different kind of painting than, um, we'll say, traditional glowy white watercolors. So this happened to be Windsor Newton paints just to do a demo. That's nice and quick. Let me get some water over here without spilling it everywhere. All right. So these are uh, the regular Cotman Windsor Newton paints. And then this is the metallics down here on the bottom. So let's just do a quick test of yellow. All right, so you can sort of see it, but when that dries, that's going to be super faint. So, and if we tried a darker color, like blue, we would have a similar problem because it's going to be a dark color on a dark background. So if you used the traditional paints, and let's go with something like red, you can see that the red shows up a little better, but we still have the black shining through, which you know normally when you have white shining through, it adds to the luminescent glow of it. When you have black shining through, it's sort of dulling down the color because now it's the color on black. Well, let's take a look at the metallic blue. Let's get a little more water on here. The metallics is where this is going to get much better. And you'd have to do a couple layers on here to get this to show up. But the shine of the metallics against the dark, rich black is what I find to be just so pretty. So the metallics are thick enough, we'll say, that they are not acting in a see-through manner as much. So the black isn't dulling down the color as much as it does with, you know, like the yellow. I mean, you could barely see the yellow in there or the blue. But these metallics are much less see-through. And that shine against the black is lovely. So let's see, that's gold. I think this is copper. Put some bronze down. And I'm sure there's some people that might say, oh, I really like that red against the black. I can do uh, subtle roses or that sort of thing for a somber mood. And there are all sorts of different uses for black watercolor paper, which is why they have become quite popular. For me, though, it's the way these metallic paints shine against the black. And you can imagine doing like a mandala kind of design or a set of flowers or, you know, abstract, whatever you are into. And this is the platinum. But to me, this is just so pretty. The shine of the metallics. And even as it's drying, you still get that nice, beautiful shine. And then this white over here isn't a traditional Windsor Newton white. This is a... Um, Oh, I've forgotten the name now. <laughs> anyway, it's a uh, special white that I get in a jar that is a super bright white that I use for putting eyeball dots on. But just so you can see. <laughs> yeah, super bright, we'll say. keep thinking Dr. McGillicuddy's, but that's not right. Anyway, whatever it is, it is a nice bright. I'll put it in the uh, text of the review. All right, so this is a black watercolor paper. 
You can see these are standard watercolors and you can see them. It's not that they're invisible, but I mean the yellow starts looking more like a green and it's hard to see. So that would be a certain mood you were going after to get these um, muted colors against the black. And then the metallics, the metallics are just so lovely and shiny. And the, the white, um, the special white comes out nice and bright against it too. So if you're doing watercolors with metallics, or if you're going for some sort of a somber feel, um, this black watercolor paper works very well. So it is an option for people who really enjoy these kinds of color combinations and in the black. All right, let me know if you have any questions.